Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Themis, the titan goddess of divine law, order and customs. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so as to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Themis was the titan goddess of divine law, order and customs. She was the daughter of Uranus and Gaia and was the messenger of the very first rules of contact established by the elder gods. Her place was at Oracle of Delphi, where she was one of the early prophets, second more precisely according to Aeschylus. In the role of divine voice, the mistress, she first instructed the primary laws of justice and morality to mankind. Some of these were the precepts of piety, the rules of hospitality, good governance, contact of assembly and various offerings to the gods. Themis was also known to be the counselor of Zeus, advising the king of the gods on the contact of man. Alongside her daughter Dike Aka Justice, she would have reported to Zeus if the primary laws had been breached by anyone. She is also said to have gathered the gods at the assembly on Olympus on the orders of Zeus. In her time, Themis proclaimed some of the most famous prophecies, such as the fall of the Titans, where she prophesied that the war will not be won by brute strength and violence, but by respecting the counsels of craft and gaining the upper hand in the war. This probably meant that Olympians gained the advantage when Zeus released the Cyclops and Hecandochires from Tartarus. The Cyclops built them the weapons while Hecandochires were the scene itself, bombarding the Titans with rocks. She also prophesied the death of giants who would attempt to dethrone Zeus and the world after the flood, where the late also instructed Evcalion, son of Prometheus, and Pyrrha, daughter of Epimetheus, to repopulate the world after the flood with throwing bones of their mother behind their shoulders. According to some authors, she also warned Zeus about marrying to Tethys, but the other authors are crediting Prometheus with a particular prophecy. According to Aeschylus Prometheus Bound, Themis is also credited to be the mother of Prometheus, so their shared visions may not be so far-fetched. Themis was not only the counsel of Zeus, but was one of his earliest brides, and together they gave birth to hours and fates, who together represented the establishment of natural law and order. Despite being one of the favorites of Zeus, she was, according to Ovid's Fasti, overlooked by Cronus and the Titans and was relegated to the lowest place in the pecking order. The order were first generation, Axo or Axesia, goddess of spring growth who increased growth and prosperity to the fields. Carpo, goddess of the fruits of the earth, she represented Atom and worshipped alongside Axo by the ancient Greeks. Thalo, goddess of spring buds and shots, she was representing summer and plant raising. Second generation. Dike, goddess of fair judgments based on rules, customs and moral order. She was the enemy of all falsehood and the protectress of wise administration of justice. Irini, goddess of peace and seasons of the spring. She is identified as Ora Thalo in Hesiod's Theogony. Evnomia, goddess of order and law. She was representing internal stability in society. The Greeks also knew her as the spring goddess of green pastures. The Mire Aka fates were Atropos, goddess of inevitable. She was the oldest of three fates and determined the mechanism of death for all mortals. Clotho, goddess of spinning the thread of lives. She had control over the decision of who was born and also decided whether the lives of the mortals or gods were to be saved or to extinguish. Lachesis, goddess of destiny. She was measuring lifespan which was spinning by Clotho and therefore determined the life threat of all mortals and decided how much time for life was to be allowed for each being. Adamets. Themis is also said to have helped Leto along with her sisters Thea and Rhea with birth of Apollo and later suckled him with heavenly nectar and ambrosia. According to Ovid's Metamorphosis, Themis was the one who released the Sphinx to Thebes to annoy the travelers with its riddles. And once Oedipus solved the riddle and destroyed the Sphinx, Themis was heartbroken and angered. Without delay, she sent another savage beast, this time to ravage the city. Let us finish with the following saying. God always geometrizes. Plato. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.